In today's video, I'm gonna give you five ways to play the China boom for more growth and dividends. We're earning almost 500,000 per year in dividends at my channel, as you can see below. These numbers fluctuate. Sometimes I'm earning 600,000, sometimes I'm earning 400,000, but I've always said that around 500,000 is what I earn in dividends per year, thanks to these funds that we invest in and some margin that I use. Also, we're up 32% with our strategy using margin, cornerstone, yield max, defiance, and roundhill funds. So we're beating all the indexes. We're up 32%. The SP is up 20, the Nasdaq's up 20, the Dow's up 12, and the Russell's up 10. We're beating all the indexes on a year-to-date basis. So even with the decay that we see from these funds, we're still outperforming the market. Again, up 32%. And on a daily basis, you saw that I was up 12,000 on Friday or 0.96% which also beats the indexes as you can see above. You've seen in past videos, I'm up 0.96 here, but with margin factored in, I'm actually up about 1.5% for the day. So that's how we're getting our, our performance. It's with margin and it's with these dividend funds like Yield Max, Cornerstone, Roundhill, and Defiance. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. We're living free from a nine to five using margin and these funds, but you have to play by the rules, especially when it comes to China. China is high growth. We're seeing a big bull market now in China, but it's also high risk. So you need to watch how you play China when you're using margin to live financially free out of your brokerage account, okay? And the first thing that you need to watch with China is maintenance okay everyone knows that i have clip okay is one of my largest holdings clip it has 50 percent maintenance though so you have to be aware of your maintenance if you're trying to live financially free out of your brokerage account and you're using margin you have to keep your available withdrawal high okay so my available withdrawal is at over 200,000. we can withstand over 20 percent corrections in the market this is because i have low maintenance names and yes i do own clip and it is 50 percent maintenance but it also has around a 50 percent dividend so it's worth the higher maintenance in my opinion also clip is outperforming the index is here okay clip is the blue and the index is in the red so you can see that China's having a big catch up to equities and you can see this straight up line. And so I want to take advantage of this China boom. I want more growth, more dividends because we need to grow or die at this channel. Because as you know, we own Cornerstone. So that's how we actually live out of our account with these dividends. But Yield Max and Defiance, they go down by the amount of their dividends. So it's hard to withdraw out of your account and live totally free from a nine to five when you're using just Yield Max and Defiance. You need Round Hill and Cornerstone and you can get some China exposure in your portfolio, but you have to keep that smaller than the indexes. And again, when you're using China related names, you have to watch the maintenance and Clip is 50% maintenance. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So Bloomberg did an article recently and I was featured in this article for Bloomberg and they're saying that there's a boom with these new ETFs, these 100% yields, and these ETFs that are emerging all over the place and they think that it's somewhat risky and I agree that some of these funds can be risky but that's why you have to play by the rules okay and that's why I watch my maintenance at all times okay so I own clip and clip gives us 50% dividends and it's been outperforming its index so that's been doing very well for us, but I want more growth too. I don't just want dividends because we have to get growth in our accounts because again, how do you withdraw from yield max or defines dividends when they fall by the amount of those dividends. And so I thought this article that Vildana wrote for Bloomberg actually made a lot of sense because yeah, it's hard to withdraw out of these funds when the NAV falls, okay? So Cornerstone, it's NAV rises. As you can see here, Cornerstone, it's a four star fund, as you can see above, and it goes upward on its chart, upward left to right on its chart. So this is how I'm able to live out of my account, okay? It's with Cornerstone, and Cornerstone is also 30% maintenance, okay? CRF, and so Cornerstone and Round Hill, they go up, Defiance and Yield Max stocks usually fall by the amount of their dividends. So look at the maintenance for Cornerstone. It's 30% maintenance, and on a one-year chart, it's blowing away Yield Max, Defiance, Round Hill. It blows away everything, and on a 10-year chart, it doesn't look like that because if you go to a chart of Cornerstone, you'll see that it falls and it goes sideways to down over time. I get this complaint 
all the time with Cornerstone. People always ask me, well, why do you own this? When you look at a chart on a 10 year chart, it just goes sideways to down. It's losing all of its nav. Well, it's not losing its nav, okay? 10 year chart, there you can see it goes sideways to down. But again, on Morningstar, you see that it moves upward left to right, all right? So with closed end funds like Cornerstone, you have to play it properly around its rights offerings. And that's in my volume four e-guide if you need more help playing Cornerstone. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for Life, where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offer announcement. Cornerstone is great. It moves upper left to right, as you can see on its charts, but it drops significantly after its rights offerings. So you want to make sure to play those rights offerings properly, and that's how you really level up your account, okay? Cornerstone gives you 20% dividends, 20% premiums that you can pocket before the rights offering, and then it drips its 21% dividend down at the NAV for free money every month. People get mad when I talk about Cornerstone. Stone. But we're talking about China today and we're talking about having a complete approach to living financially free out of a brokerage account. You need diversification. Cornerstone is the indexes and it's been out the longest. So I anchor my portfolio to Cornerstone and I also anchor it to Roundhill. Okay, Roundhill moves upper left to right on its chart. Yes, we've been featuring Roundhill a lot lately, QDTE. It moves upper left to right, but not as much as Cornerstone. Okay, we're not even at the old highs for Roundhill, but with Cornerstone, we are at the old highs. So that's why I like Cornerstone better. You don't see the same nav erosion with Cornerstone that you see with other funds. Even with Clip, okay, you see this quote unquote nav erosion as it moves sideways to down on its chart. But I just showed you the Morningstar chart and it moves upward left to right. So you have to factor back in dividends and drips with Clip and the same goes for Cornerstone and everything else. So Clip, that's the first way that we're playing China for more dividends, but we also need more growth. So I've been buying more Clip but I also bought some Alibaba. Okay, we featured Alibaba in the last video and you saw that I had this open on my screen already for this video, but Alibaba has been on a tear, okay? So Alibaba, I don't wanna own Alibaba because it doesn't have a dividend, so I bought Bobbo, okay? That's the yield max fund for Alibaba. Now, this is still going up with Alibaba, but not as much. So beware of the erosion there, but it's still giving you growth with its dividend. Bobo gives you around a 30% dividend yield and it has 50% maintenance, so it's not that bad, but it's stock specific, so don't put too much in Bobo. I keep my yield max stocks very small because again, Vildana has a great point. These funds can go down over time and when you're trying to withdraw out of your yield max stocks, you're gonna see a lot of erosion from not just the stock price, but also your equity because they're 50% maintenance. You can go to other brokers that have lower maintenance maintenance, but they might not have the special drip for Cornerstone. So you can't ignore Cornerstone and you can't ignore the maintenance for these yield max funds when you're trying to live financially free out of your brokerage account. So we have Alibaba in the form of Bobo, okay? But that's single stock risk and I don't wanna to put too much in Bobo because I'll be risking my whole portfolio with one stock that's China related. So I also bought the ETF, okay? This is the third point I have for you all on how to get more growth out of your portfolio with China, more dividends and more growth. So we bought Drag, okay? I've been alerting all of my members who follow my live portfolio service on YouTube about Drag, okay? So this has about 10 holdings in it and they each have about 10% weighting in the ETF. So we get our growth through Drag and through Bobo and then we get our dividends from Clip, okay? so. Drag gives us a little bit more diversification away from Bobo and it's 50% maintenance, so it's not that great. It doesn't have a big dividend yield, so you wanna be careful with drag. I keep that amount small in my portfolio as well. Again, I keep most of my money in the larger indexes like the S&P and NASDAQ with Cornerstone, Roundhill, Defiance, and even some yield max names like YMAX and YMAG but you wanna be careful with Bobo and Drag because they're China related and they're not fully diversified. They also have 50% maintenance once again. So you have to be aware of those factors, but what are some other ways to play China without the risk? Well, I've also been buying metals names that have dividends like BHP, okay, we're up 8% in that, as you can see in this column here, and it has a nice dividend. So we have metals names, Alba Marais, ALB, that was up about 10% for us on Friday alone. These metals names are really starting to move. You can see in my stock section of the portfolio here that we're up big in most of our staples names. The only things that are down here are yield max names, our hedges, or some sporadic 
you know, consumer cyclical related names like Ford and even Dollar General. Yes, that's in the staples sector, but I consider Dollar General and Dollar Tree to be somewhat cyclical because they're retail related. But everything else has been going up like crazy for us. I mean, Walmart, 17% gain. SLG, well, that's real estate, 61% gain. Well, now we're starting to get these gains with metals too, okay? So you can see Southwest Airlines, 16% gain there. We needed industrial exposure. Starbucks, 23%. But we also have Album Ray here up 8% on Friday. And I think that this chart is just getting going, okay? Metals still look really cheap. Look at this chart of Album Ray, okay? It looks like there's a breakout happening. It's in the S&P 500, so I'm indexed. So it fits the bill for what we're trying to do here. And again, it's a way to play China because China demands a lot of metal. So that's the fourth way to play the China boom, in my opinion. It's through these metals because China demands so much copper and iron ore. And so I'm buying these metals plays, especially ones that have dividends. BHP is a larger holding of mine because it has a bigger dividend than Album Array. Album Array is also quite risky. BHP is much more diversified, okay? And the last way that I have for you all to get more growth and dividends out of your portfolio is by selling options on China, okay? So I sell these options, as you can see below, my options gave me about 50,000 premiums or so, and so I sold options on yen because yen has just been going crazy, just like other China names. So I sold an option on yen here, got $1,000, so that lowered my margin by 1,000. I also sold options on K-Web. We got another 1,000 from K-Web. So I don't wanna sell too many options on China because they don't pay big dividends, but they lower our risk because they lowered our margin by $2,000, and then they lowered our cost basis. So if you take yen, $30, minus $10, or 957 for our premiums, our cost basis is at around 20, okay? So 20 a share is lower than yen currently is, and that's why selling options is a better way to play China, in my opinion, to lower your risk, lower your margin, and get more China performance at the same time. As you can see, we're up $100 in each of these options related plays for China. These gains don't really matter because you'll see that I'm up or down in my options column. That doesn't really matter. Once again, this is all midpoint pricing. You have to go by your cost basis, okay? I sell options on China to get more performance out of my account. And also I buy options for insurance, okay? Everyone wonders, well, what's gonna happen to my margin in the event of a market crash? Well, we're still outperforming the market. We're up 32% even after the August crash. And my dividends here just pay back my margin debt, so I'm never worried about my leverage. But if we have over a 20% correction in the market where I would get closer to a margin call, then my put options would absolutely clean up in the event of a market crash. My put options were up almost 2,000% during the recent crash. So imagine a 30% crash. We would make more money than we potentially lost thanks to our put options. If you need help buying put options to ensure your portfolio like I do, that's in my volume five e-guide. And if you need help selling put options to lower your risk and lower your margin like I do, that's in my volume six e-guide. So it takes a total approach to live financially free out of your brokerage account. And when you're playing China, you wanna make sure to play it in different ways, okay? You wanna lower your risk when you're playing China related names. You wanna get more growth, more dividends, but you wanna do it safely. So I gave you five ideas on how you can do that with China. If you have any other ways to play China, any better ways to play China for more growth and dividends, please leave those in the comment section below. You have to go with the total approach with Cornerstone, Yield Max, Defiance, and Roundhill Dividends. I sprinkle in a little bit of clip to get more dividends, but then you have to get the growth with these other ideas I've been sharing with you in this video. And that's how we withdraw out of our account without seeing the nav erosion, okay? It's grow or die. And that's how we're up 32%. It's by using this margin, diversifying out into all these other names and playing by the rules, okay? So if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides. And if you like my video, please click like or subscribe and I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks.